Hey guys, Grease Monkey348 here. Coming to you in a video about the AutoCat. It's a 90, 1990 AutoCat El Tiger 530. Today I'm working on the front end a little bit. Still waiting for my parts to come in. It's a cold one out today. It's minus 14, uh, but the windshield really make it cold. I got the formula in here. The Formula Plus. I'm going to be tightening the chain case on that because it's pretty sloppy. But for right now, I'm going to be mounting a front bumper. Something that like, curls up. I'm going to be mounting it from onto this bracket and to this one. And what I'm going to be using is some uh, inch and a half tubing. As you can see on this old pressure washer of mine. I'm going to be using that for the front bumper, and then I'm going to cut it. I like the perfect width I want. All I'm going to do is cut it about down here, I think, and bend it with my uh, Prince of Auto pipe bender, and put it in. I'm going to weld it in, weld it in down here, and uh, bolt it in up here. So I'm going to get two at first, and I'm going to take that up a little bit, and then cut it. See you guys. Hey guys, I got it off. I didn't even know uh, when I took this off, the bolts was in here. I took them out, and this whole thing just pops right off. But uh, the most impressive thing I've ever seen, I put it over here. Look at that. I don't even have to cut it or bend it. It's already been in the right area. All I'm going to do is drill some uh, half inch holes. In the plastic, shove the pipe right through there, and bolt her in and weld her in over here. It's just that, that simple. I can't believe that. I'll see you guys in a bit when I got the holes drilled. Okay, guys, I got the, the holes drilled, as you can see. This fits pretty uh, nice and snug in there. I might do a little bend up, which I don't like. It's not totally up as much as I want it. I gotta do a little bit of trimming still. I gotta, I gotta bring it down to about here. So that about three inch, two inches. I gotta trim it a little bit. And I'll make it fit in the... I'm going to do a little bend too. Make a little bender. Yeah, a little more. Yeah, see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys. I got the bumper in. I think it looked pretty good. I cut a little bit off the original bumper. So it like fits in there. And I got in here. I welded it in onto the main subframe. And then I put a triangle brace on this side. Load that on, and I welded a uh, flat piece of bar on top to stop it from frexing. I did the same on this side, as you can see. And I here on the bar going across, there's no support anyway. I did all plastic. So I did bolted one bolt with a bra uh, a bushing in there. As you can see. But all that, I think it looked pretty good. It's something to gra grab onto when you trying to heave hold this thing out of the snow. And it'll protect a yacht. It'll protect the hood if you ever hit a tree or anything. Because all that, it all made a half inch and a half inch uh, tube. But I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up and all dirty in there, or metal shaving, plastic shavings everywhere. I'm gonna get it all cleaned up and I'm, uh, I might put a cold paint on it. Let's see. There we go, I did swap some paint on it. I cleaned up the inside and there we go. It'll do for now.
Yeah, it matched the back. Nice red bumper and nice red front bumper. I got all the inside cleaned up. Did some paint it to keep it from rusting. That all I put the paint on before. But other than that, that done the front bumper. So that's the video. See you guys later. Bye.